pass or fail. The real result is not yet. Remember I said you cannot lose the compassion games. At the same time, there's certain output, there's certain outcomes, there's certain impact. I got more points than anybody. We're not done. So here's what actually happened. Because it was, Abel said, we, this is science, we need some numbers. So the first mission was to befriend the other. There were 74 submissions of over, there was 112 photos, and more have come in while I was here. Many people told me they had trouble with the guidebook or the internet was slow, but that's how many I want the numbers to be known. So there were 74 submissions and 112 photos. We had 34, the second one was better together because we want to build a map of social emotional organizations. There were 34 organizations added and 27 people. The third mission was celebrate our shared humanity. And we did the Wopi Dust ceremony with the Compassion Torch, and I want to show you two quick videos that we did. Okay, so let's do the first one. Hi, I'm Mansa. I'm from India. I'm grateful for being happy, surrounded by happy people, and my wish for uh, people is uh, less depressing people because people are nowadays sad and people don't get to share their sadness whatever it may be um, it may be emotional physical what whatever kind of sadness they are unable to share to the world I hope that decreases in India and all over the world and I pass this fire to to all the depressed people in the world thank you Okay, okay. I might have been hard to hear, but what she said was so beautiful. We ask each person, introduce yourself. Tell us what you're grateful for. And what is your wish for the world and who you want to pass the torch for. And she spoke to the depression. She spoke to how many people are suffering. And I thought this was so wise. And we had now one of the, Jacob, I want to, what another professor had to say, a, a technologist. Let's do the second video. Same pattern. Hi, I'm Jacob Scherzen from Denmark, and I'm really grateful for living in a time when I can pursue my passions, I create games, connecting people, researchers, and, and citizens around the world to make a difference. I really wish for the world that we seize this unique opportunity now, where technology is growing, not to build divides, but to build hybrid futures where we learn the best of the human and the best of the algorithms and build a future together. I would like to pass the torch to all of the tech companies to take the opportunity now to use that technology for good and for compassion around the world. There you go, right? Let's not think the technology is the solution. We need to find the best of the technology to empower us to achieve purpose in the world. So I just want to, and we have 17 of those and we still have time tonight. I'm willing to light the fire Remember, the result is not yet. You can't fail. Instead of saying pass or fail, the question is not yet. All right. I want to introduce now, I did a next one was mutual mentors. And the idea there was to start to pair up. Find those people that you can find common values with and shared interests. And then look at how your unique resources can be combined together to help each other achieve purpose. And I want to introduce Aryan Salman. Aryan, come up here. From the Global Citizenship Foundation. Like I said, I was a big winner. I built some great mentorships. Thank and you. I don't know if you know this young man, but I want to give him a moment to tell you about his work. Good evening, everybody. My name is Aryan Salman. I'm the president of Global Citizenship Foundation. Uh, we work with schools on creating global citizenship education innovative schools. The idea of an innovative school here is based on uh, three focus areas, GCED dimension to teaching and learning, continuous professional development of teachers, and fostering social entrepreneurship among students. Now, we work on global citizenship education through a bottom-up approach which makes our organization very unique. So what we end up doing is instead of giving teachers the textbook, we turn teachers into creators and co-creators of deep learning experiences through the toolkit as well as the fellowship opportunity that we provide to schools. 
So this is what we do, and we also have another program, and any of you can participate in it. It's called 100 Acts of Global Citizenship. We provide you with a global citizenship education passport, as well as an organizer for you to go about a process-oriented project-based learning experience. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you, sir. So when I first thought of the game, we called the game Model, Coach, and Care. Model, Coach, and Care. And the folks from Microsoft probably know those terms. That's where I first heard that. So I want to model one thing. I want to stop and give us a chance to say thank you the tremendous amount of work that was done to make this possible. And we had a team of volunteers working to support the Compassion Games, but I'm specifically speaking to the folks at the Institute and the folks from UNESCO. I know what it is to work your butt off to prepare and anticipate for something like this that we should show up. So let's take a moment and acknowledge the tremendous gift that they've given us to make this work. And when I told Abel I'd be willing to come, but only if it wasn't just a single little conference. So 40 days from now, actually a little more than 47, January 27th, we're planning to reconvene, to build the momentum to achieve the call for action, to bring social emotional learning into the mainstream. So I invite everybody here, if you're interested, please reach out. We're gonna be gathering on the plains of Zoom. We've done this with hundreds of people so that the time spent here isn't just a nice experience we've had, but it's actually part of growing a movement to achieve the purpose that we've all set out to achieve in education. With that said, great gratitude. Thank you for playing the Compassion Games. Game on. I just want to add on. Uh, I really love the concept that Jong came up with. I have hardly seen Elders seek mentorship from younger people, and I think that whether you look at global citizenship education or 100 Acts or any of the projects that we do, we believe in the power of young people to change our world. So I think this is a great, great effort and a gesture, and it just reposes the faith that older people can trust in young people to bring about a change. So thank you so much. I have one giveaway to a few educators here. So I have a copy of this book. So this is about Launching Inspiring Educational Leadership. So I have 10 copies, so anybody interacting with me, I would like to give this as a gift at this particular event. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.